fourth day that police have focused the search on this very small section of the River Brent behind me, which is where Alice's rucksack was found. And today, forensic officers have done fingertip searches of the riverbanks here in the hope of finding any clues. Tomorrow, it'll be exactly four weeks from when Alice disappeared, and police plan to make a reconstruction of her final hours in the hope of triggering any new information coming into them. Meanwhile, Scotland Yard has launched a review into their initial handling of the investigation, especially that crucial so-called golden hour when someone first goes missing and many cases are solved. More criticism of the Metropolitan Police today for not issuing this European arrest warrant for their main suspect, Arnis Zalkans, but they've defended this, saying there's not enough evidence against him and that they only took the unusual step to name this suspect in the interests of public safety, safety especially for the people of this community who've put up more yellow ribbons in the last 24 hours around the family's home in their show of support. And of course, those yellow ribbons first went up to mark a week since Alice disappeared appeared and three weeks on from that there's little in the way of any new information or any sign of Alice Gross. Sally thank you.